A while ago, we've introduced a feature in Thrive Architect that basically allows you to change colors like never before, right? It is the global colors feature. Now we're introducing global gradients in Thrive Architect. Let's check them out. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes. And first of all, if you haven't seen the global colors video, leave a link on this video and you can go and check it out. But basically in that video, I show this page and this is not the original landing page, right? This is the original page. And you know, with the help of the global colors, I simply show how to get from this to this. And basically you simply have to identify the predominant colors and then, you know, change them with the global colors. Now in this video, instead of having this light blue color, we're going to have a gradient by, you know, applying a global gradient. So let's jump right in. We'll start off by clicking on this background section and notice that we haven't started with the first one. We're going to leave the first background section as it is. And you're going to see why we're going to click on the background style now, and then we're going to select the gradient option. And obviously we don't want this black color. So we're going to click on this end. And in order to, you know, make the light blue color visible again, we are going to minimize the opacity. And you know, we managed to give the gradient a real subtle effect. This is basically one of the main rules that you need to consider when using gradients, you know, try to make them subtle, because it is very easy to make them look bad, you know, and you can see gradients all over the internet. But it is really hard to make gradient look good. And the key here is to make it look subtle. Now, if you want to find out more about gradients in general, I recommend you watch Shane's video and I put a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. And you can go and find out more about gradients. Now moving forward, we're going to save this gradient as a global one. So to do that, we'll click on this plus icon, click as global. And there you go, we have this gradient saved as a global one. So we're simply going to apply this. So now we can go ahead and apply the global gradient on these two content boxes as well. So we'll select this one and select the gradient option again. And here under my gradients, you can find our saved gradient and apply the gradient on the second content box as well. And this is pretty much everything that we can do on this page. You know, remember that we wanted the gradients to look subtle. And you know, this is all that we're going to do. The last thing that you need to remember about global gradients is that they basically work on any element that uses the background style option. So you know, this following option right here, any element that has it, it also has the global gradients option, you know, so this means that you can use global gradients on, you know, background sections, and content boxes, buttons, icons, and so much more. And basically, this concludes our tutorial about the global gradients. You know, if you have any questions regarding this, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.